I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. I What's cannot. wrong with doing something I want to do? Why won't you leave me alone? Storing characters kind of go together, so let's start with that. This isn't exactly a recreation of the original, like 1.11 was. This has a lot of new stuff, but it has a lot of old stuff in there as well. A lot of the stuff I said about the last movie is still relevant, both good and bad. The thing that interested me in particular was the focus on the relationship between Shinji and his dad. I had that in the original, but it feels more refined here. The pacing is still like a speedrun. I think some scenes would have more impact if they took an extra few seconds. Like that scene where Shinji says, Even at a time like this, it's familiar somehow. Is it the smell? It reminds me of my mom and Ray. But then we have the Amazon translation, which is like... Feel strangely calm at a time like this. Maybe I'm just getting used to it? That's strange. It feels almost familiar. This smell, it reminds me of my mother. Or Ayanami. But then, they butchered my favorite line from 1.0, so it really is kind of dependent on which dub you watch. Unless you're a sub-person, in which case you wouldn't have that problem. I really like Tiffany Grant as Oscar. The delivery of that line could have added a little bit more suspense. I got confused on some of the other scenes because of how they rushed through it and didn't go into depth, like the incident with Toji's sister. But here we see the return of Asuka and Kaji. I was never a fan of Kaji, so I should hope that's one of the things they change. So far though, he seems like the same old douche. <laughs> So how is it a sequel since it strays away from the source a little more? I'd say it does a pretty good job. The rhythm and patterns, some scenes in 1.11, keeps up pretty nicely. We could see that Shinji is grown, but deals with more problems. I think they set it up pretty nicely in the last movie, though. In fact, honestly, the first half of this movie really nailed it. I didn't mention it with the last movie because it wasn't as relevant, but Evangelion is complicated. Like, I don't know what it's trying to do or symbolize. Maybe nothing, but whether it's purely spectacle or trying to mean something. But I think everybody feels that way. It's just a bit jarring and it makes it harder for me to place. Especially with all the mystery behind Shinji's dad. I think the series kind of dealt with that, but it was kind of novel. It cut off just as everything started to fall apart, but here it's actually trying to flesh it out, but not flesh it out so much. It's, it's weird. I wanted to talk about the final battle for my enjoyment, though. I also wanted to give a special mention to the music. It had me popping off at times. I'm not sure what I think of them playing a gentle, vocalized children's song, as Wikipedia puts it, during the most gruesome parts, I might add, which is also the same song they sang in The Graduation of Sakurasu, I might add. And you taught it, you can't forget her. But overall, it was entertaining. We'll see where it goes.